sweet angel. How are you doing today? I watched another movie. Um, okay, what you see? It's called Juan of the Dead. It's a Cuban zombie movie. <laughs> How come I have, I've not heard of this? This seems like a moral imperative that we need to watch this. It's crazy. It was made in Cuba. It's shot in Cuba. It's, oh, it's shot in Cuba? Yeah, no, it's a Cuban oh, when, company. When was it made? When was it made? Like 2010. So, relatively recently. Okay. Yeah, it, it's... I, you know, you so rarely see, like, any media from a Cuban perspective, which is bizarre. So, you know, like, they're all, like, tons of people are trying to, to get to Miami and uh, while the zombie apocalypse is happening, you know? <laughs> It's in Spanish, right? So it just yes. has subtitles. Okay. Yes, it's okay. in Cuban Spanish, which was oh, great. I, I'm i so used to hearing, like, Mexican Spanish or Puerto Rican Spanish. There's something glorious about being able to hear, like, Cuban Spanish. Like, there, there's old ladies. Which is mainly slang. <laughs> it's spoken exceedingly fast. <laughs> there are some, like, some of the old ladies had the ca exact cadence of abuela. So it made it made me feel very happy. I don't think other people would get that experience, but there was a lot of nostalgia around a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna see this. The action was really fun, like actually rather creative. Like some of the fight scenes with the zombies were very clever. Like there was one where a guy was uh, handcuffed to a zombie, and oh, oh no, yeah. That was good. There was also like a bus where tons of people were handcuffed and then the person at the end of the line got infected. And then there's like this freaking scramble through the whole as people freak out. And and they're and they're all like naked. It is a crazy scene. Yes, it's the most vulnerable. Yeah. It was the action was very clever. Yes, exactly. When you wear clothes, you feel a little protected, even though it's a thin layer. But naked, you feel like you're, like, super hyper-exposed. Oh my god. Yeah, exactly. That was great. The characters were fun, but they were very unlikable, which I think was the biggest weakness of the film. Like, they were all terrible. At least need a few likable. The only person that wasn't, like, borderline evil was like the protagonist's daughter how old was she in her early 20s oh, okay so basically the whole concept is they start a zombie killing business called juan juan of the dead which it which so like the the pun on Shaun of the dead is built in like it's in the story that it's a pun um oh. wonderful every time they pick up the phone it's like like we're juan of the dead we kill your loved one So it's great. The action comedy is fantastic. I, I enjoyed the comedy a lot. Oh my god, then there was this American character. Oh my god. Uh -huh. It was played by a guy who could barely speak English. And he sounded like if Abuelo was trying to play a Texan. Possibility. You know, it was like this is clearly a Cuban try. They they found the the person who was on their production team that spoke the best English, and that was the person they they cast. It was fantastic. Yep, yep, you're a Texan. <laughs> I don't think he's actually from Texas. I don't know, but he had a cowboy hat, sort of. I don't know. He was a bit, he was a bit part, but it was hysterical. I don't think it was intentional comedy, but. <laughs> But yeah, I enjoyed it a lot. And also, it had some very fun political commentary on the situation there. Like, they, the, there was this running joke that the Cuban government was blaming it on American dissidents. That they, they refused to admit it was zombies. They were like, oh, yes, they're, they're just dissidents. And, <laughs> that, like, everything's fine. We can all just go back to normal. Like, no matter what was happening. Even, Even the, the public... public Public transportation refused to close, so there was like buses still going, even though it was insane. It was great. I I, I loved that part of it. It was very funny. Oh, that's wonderful. I gotta have 
It's from a mouth you're gonna have to you're gonna have to show it to me. Yeah, it's really funny. It's great. On. Daddy might really like that since it's all in Cuban Spanish. He might really like it. Yeah, you should. Yeah, you should Maybe watch it. We'll rent I'm gonna it watch it. Uh, I'm gonna watch it again. Then the second time, not looking at the subtitles because the su subtitles were kind of driving me crazy because I understood just enough for me to know that the subtitles weren't quite right. And uh, you, that's kind of irritating. Oh my god, okay. I understood a lot. It was this the you know they talk so fast that it was very right, right. it's it's you don't catch everything. It's like wait what what did you, what did you say? Also, I I was learning new curse words, so that was fun. Always fun. Yeah. Grandma taught me them all when I was very young. Say this and then run away. <laughs> Just eat it up. Okay. Well, love you bunches. Love you bunches. Have a great day. You too. Bye. Bye.